Amidst the present adverse situations, Mahakal, the divine time spirit, has carried out a painstaking search to find out the people of Yugnirman Parivar. You are all very important and fortunate people indeed. You need to play a very important role in fulfilling some special responsibilities demanded by the current time. You need to participate in God's work. You haven't been born only to raise families and feed them, but more importantly, to help God change these adverse situations. Pandit Sri Ram Sharma Acharya. Book title: Mahakal ki Chetavni Ansuni na kare. Do not ignore Mahakal's warnings. Book introduction. The world is passing through the most important phase of a profound transformation in the era. Whenever a big and widespread transformation takes place rapidly, we call it a revolution. All the revolutions that have happened so far since time immemorial were restricted to either a country or a continent. However, the revolution that we are about to witness will happen worldwide. and its battlefield will be the heart and the mind of the masses it will influence each and every aspect of the life of human kind both the physical and the subtle the revolution will have a two pronged approach encouraging worthy thinking actions and conducts and eradicating the unworthy ones through thought transformation the revolution has started off as a yug nirman yojana or the grand mission to lay the foundation of a new era of peace bliss and progress it aims to bring about refinement and evolution of the masses thoughts sentiments and emotional development mahakal the divine time spirit has given an open invitation to enlightened souls worldwide to help in this divine mission of bringing in a new era this pocket book comprises a small treasury of some brilliant and inspiring thoughts expressed by pandit shri ram sharma acharya from time to time in articles books periodicals editorials and speeches they could be very helpful to leaders and followers alike to have a balanced outlook maintain necessary self discipline and stay focused the booklet would also serve as a source of great inspiration whenever and wherever needed as we travel along the road leading to a new era for the entire humanity few excerpts from the book these days you should carry out god's work no one in the world has ever progressed only by chanting god's name they had to do god's work as well you will also have to do something if you fool yourself or try to fool god by chanting god's name only you will remain empty handed as ever the choice is yours you will have to decide on your own and you will have to move forward yourself god cannot carry out physical world as he is formless You should act as a visible form of God and should try to carry out his work. The task and responsibility you have been given are that you light up or illuminate yourself like a lamp and light up other lamps or illuminate people. The lamp which isn't burning itself cannot light up other lamps. If you wish to light up other lamps you will have to light up yourself first or illuminate your character if you are able to become like a shining lamp all my aspirations will become fulfilled for which i have been working throughout and carrying on this mission you should concentrate your entire focus on only one aspect and that is to make sure whether you have been able to become a desirable mold that can shape others only that person is a bhakt or a true devotee who can feel the pain of humanity as if it is his own pain or else he is vibhakt meaning the one 
who is disassociated from God. They are indeed the greats whose mind become restless seeing the problems faced by the masses, whose intellect always try to find novel, effective ways to solve these problems, and whose physical bodies have vote always to keep serving and helping humanity. One can choose only one option from having either a fake grandeur or true inner greatness, but not both. Today, there is no lack of authors and orators engaged in imparting dharma preaching. Still, they don't have exemplary characters like that of Kabir, Nanak, Guru Gobind Singh, Buddha, Gandhi, Mahavir and other greats. It is a person's character that can make a desirable impact on others. Whenever you come across any incidents, situation, person or thought, you should put each of them to the test to find out the worthiness and unworthiness elements within them. You should stop seeing who becomes happy or who feels disappointed. If you start thinking about what could make your well-wishers happy, you will no more be able to do the right things. The most important thing is that we need God becomes happy. Greatness doesn't come from a big name, riches or being a lavish lifestyle. Greatness is, in fact, an outlook that enthuses and encourages a person to keep excelling all the time, to keep moving forward and only to adopt that which is worthy. The glory and dignity of a person can only be upheld if he doesn't give in to fear and temptations and also courageously preserves by observing the proprietary of principles and fairness. The construction of small buildings or bridges can be managed by an overseer, but building a large dam will need the services of expert engineers. Inexperienced doctors cannot perform major surgery. It will indeed require a dexterous surgeon. Society faces minor problems every now and then. They can be easily tackled by some ordinary reforms. However, any wrongdoings becoming rampant and breaking all the barriers of proprietary will call for the services of a great reformer and then Mahakal, the divine time spirit, will step in to tackle the problem himself. Each and every person has within them the element that opts for either immorality like Duryodhan did or the grace of God as Arjun did. One can be called the wisdom of righteous intellect and the other can be the lack of wisdom or evil intellect. It is up to a person's freedom of choice to decide which one of these two he wishes to go for. Few topics covered in the book are Mahakal or the Divine Time Spirit, Awakened Souls, Mahakal's Open Invitation to Join the Revolution, Working in Partnership with God, Advice and Admonitions to Noble People, Bravery, Unity, Harmony, Love, Affection, Prudent Thinking and Other Indispensable Qualities, Being a True Worker to Serve Humanity, Simple Living, High Thinking and Importance of Being Exemplary Characters and Practicing What We Preach.